DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. Get back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up. This is sports talk. All right, so last week, Chris Sims listed his top 10 receivers. Missing from that collection of players, Keenan Allen of the Los Angeles Chargers. And Allen has complained about being omitted from Chris's list specifically, but that has spawned a back and forth between Allen and one of the top receivers currently in the NFL, Mike Evans, said, Keenan Allen, I'm tired of biting my tongue. Tyree Kill, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, the list goes on, are not better than me, faster than me every day of the week, but separation, child, please. Mike Evans, who never says anything, said this, you tagged the wrong Chris Godwin, LOL. And don't be mad at us, we didn't make the rankings or care about them. I like the confidence, but be realistic, you're not on my level, bro. I think that's the, the harshest, most combative thing Mike Evans has ever said in his life. Chris, but see what you started? I know. Are you proud of yourself? Uh, yep, yeah, that's what I do. I know. And it, no, I'm not proud of myself because I like these guys. Like, I like Keenan Allen. I know these guys are going to, like, kind of hold it against me personally. Uh, but this is what I do. It's part of my job. It's, hey, it's part of driving conversation for football. All right? And, uh, yeah, Brandon Stoke Stokely used to call me the... Uh, you know, I used to stir the pot. He used the bad word. The crap stir, he used the other word, right? right that's what we call it. You, you know what I mean. Gotcha. Um, why wasn't why was Keenan Allen number 10 in I, your top 10? I like Keenan Allen, but Keenan Allen's got to be in certain offenses. In certain offenses in football, Keenan Allen wouldn't be able to just thrive or succeed. He's got to be in an offense that really knows how to utilize the slot receiver. And that's why I just can't put him on the list of some of these other guys. Let alone when he catches the ball, he is not capable of doing what a lot. I feel like he is top 10. I feel like Keenan Allen is top 10. Yes, certain players have to be in certain systems, but I feel like anyone get Keenan Allen right now, he can, he'll be he a game changer. He's a game changer just like Mike Evans is, just like Chris Godwin is. He's a game changer. He's a top 10 wide receiver. He could easily be the number one on any one of these teams if someone get him. I feel like he will thrive in that system. of these guys on this list are capable of doing. You know, I really like him. He was right there on the edge with Devontae Adams and Jarvis Landry and DJ Moore of guys that I was like, man, I got to put them in the top 10. How am I going to leave them out? You know, it was not easy. But let me just set this straight. He ain't as good as Mike Evans. That's insane. I mean, Mike Evans is a rare, rare talent to come in football. And so is Tyree Kill. You know, Tyree Kill, again, this is where I'll challenge people. It might not be the most challenged, you know, polished receiver you've ever seen. And I didn't get to rebuttal Rodney Harrison last week when he kind of said he didn't think he was number one. I've never seen Bill Belichick cover any receiver in the history of his life the way he's had to cover Tyree Kill. That, to me, just says it all. He, he played defenses against Kansas City that he's never played in his career, play after play after play because of Tyree Kill. So that just shows you the effect of what he has. And so to me, I don't care that he might not. The fact that Tyree had and how you got to cover him because his speed is a game changer. You have to figure out a way to slow him down to order to change his ways of how he running his routes. But his speed would catch a lot of people off guard because they don't know how to play and they can't engage him. They still play off of him. He still forgot a way to get past him. So it's hard to guard him. But Ken Allen is underrated because he's a red, he's a red zone threat because you could throw it up there he could go get it. He has speed. He don't have Tyree on speed, but he can... He, he can change the game like that. Why do you think Justin Herbert is in a good position once he take over? Why do you think Tyrod Taylor will be just fine because the weapons he has? Wills and Keenan Allen. You have that number one at Allen. So you already know what they can do for a quarterback. 
be able to run the best out route or slant route like uh, some of the other receivers. It doesn't matter. Defenses are changing their game plans more than ever with Tyree Kill in the field compared to the other guys. And to me, that says top receiver. Keenan Allen, really awesome, but not a difference maker that way. Sorry. I personally think to be a top 10 receiver, you have to have that kind of game-breaking speed right. that forces a defense to, to account for you with more than one man. That that's the price of admission. If you don't come to the table with that, you're not a top 10 receiver. You can get open. You can make catches. That's great. But to be in the top 10, you have to be the red dot guy. You have to be the guy that when they are sitting down to figure out how in the hell they're going to slow down this offense, Job number one is how do we cover this guy? How do we deal with this guy? And I I watch games where people try to game plan how to slow down Kenny Allen. Trust me, he's not no scrub. He's not no average wide receiver. People still game plan to stop him. Even though he have another guy in wheels on the sideline, you do have to slow both of them now. But they key in to stop him as well. They try to figure out a way how to slow him down. Keep him again to the football. He just like the other guys. He get keyed on as well when you go in that state and play the Chargers. I think all your top ten receivers pass that test, Chris. That's what you have to have. I, I, He's a top ten receiver. I agree. There's no disrespect to Keenan Allen. No. He admits it though. He doesn't have the speed. If you don't have the speed, guy. Right. You know, there's a certain offenses like, you know, I, I always kind of revert back to Seattle in this type of situation. Like, Seattle doesn't use the slot receiver. Keenan, they would ask you, they would be, you need to be a physical beast a little bit to get open in Seattle. He would he would not be the same Keenan Allen we know if he had to play in a system like that or other ones that are similar to that in football where they don't have a million tricks through great offensive game plan design like the Sean Paytons or some of the guys that have been there in, in, uh, with the Chargers who have had a pretty damn awesome offense for a lot of years. They just don't know how to utilize all those all the time. So, yes, you know, I look at guys like a Tyree Kill or a Mike Evans and just go, I don't give a damn if you put them in a second grade offense on an NFL team. They're going to dominate games because they're that special of a talent. And there's other guys that are not on this list who are complaining where I go, no, it's the system, your quarterback, you're good, man, but you're not what you think you are. But there's a lot of talented uh, receivers in football and it's a good discussion. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thank you.